Hello everyone! Today I'm just going to play around in my studio with some samples that I got from work. I've got some new liquid tech. Well, they're actually not new. New to me though. I haven't really played with Liquitex paint as much as just their basics. So I have heavy body and soft body. Well, I do have a blue, but this is the Sennelier blue. And this is their abstract innovative acrylic paint. Um, I kind of want to play with this too. I think I'm just going to start playing and then maybe put you on fast forward and I might pop in here and there to see what happens. All right, thank you. I forgot to mention this board that I'm working on. I did one coat of gesso and it's illustration illustration board, I think Crescent brand illustration board, or maybe the cheaper version, I'm not sure, but we had some scraps, so I'm just kind of playing around on this. I did one coat of the Liquitex gesso and let that dry for a while. All right, back to painting. I'd say the texture of the Sennelier and the Heavy Body Liquitex are actually pretty similar and they're blending well together. Um, the yellow is very, very sheer, which is pretty common with yellows in general. Um, so now I put the layer of gesso on. You can kind of see, since I pressed it with the other one, there's the pickup texture, which I really like. Um, but before I use the red acrylic paint, I also got this little sample Liquitex paint marker. And this is, you know, the tiny kind, so it's not for sale. They're normally, like, a full-size marker. Um, this is in cadmium red hue, and it's just an acrylic paint marker. You gotta shake it up a little bit. Let's see. 
see how it fares over the green, if it's opaque or not. You know, it's actually pretty opaque. I mean, well, see, this is what I have. I've never been able to find a marker that kind of like stays. Like, this is what ends up happening. Do you see that? It, um, it's probably a user issue, <laughs> but I like will put a, put it down. And then if I try and go over it at all, it, um, kind of like picks itself back up. I probably should not be doing it like that. I don't really know how to use paint markers. I mean, I know how to use regular markers, but maybe I can get better at it. I mean, it really only does that when you're on a slicker surface. So I'm painting, I'm using this on top of the acrylic. Um, but when I use it on top of the gesso, it doesn't really scrape itself off. That's good, though. I say that as it's scraping it off. I just don't have good luck with these things. definitely a better marker so I might try these they have a lot of different colors and sizes and they have fluorescent too which is kind of cool I don't know how often I would use fluorescent but you never know Heavy body has a nice texture though, and it definitely leaves good brush marks, which I think is, is nice if you're used to working with oil paint. So then you can give some nice brush work. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this blue with it. Of course, I get it all over my hands. Make a nice purple. No, see, this is a pretty muddy purple too. Making all kinds of. This looks gray. Not a very good purple. Not at all. Oop, using the basic. See, they're pretty similar actually. I'm not sure how much better. Maybe it's um, the light fastness. Maybe it lasts longer with permanence.
is, I don't know if I said this already, Cad Red Medium. And it doesn't have that super strong spray paint smell, which definitely doesn't mean that it's safer for you. Just means you can't tell that you're ingesting poisonous gas, which don't do what I'm doing and maybe do this outside or in a much better ventilated space. Kind of, ooh, that looks really cool. The only thing with spray paint is I don't really know where it's going to end up. I guess that comes with practice. Ooh. Nope, oh, nope, totally missed. <laughs> Ooh, this is very opaque. There's no like top. Enjoy when you don't really know what paint went on last. <laughs> 